busting my balls, Billy, okay? I can already tell that I don't like you. The fuck you bust on my balls? I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. It might be your first ball job. Yeah, of course. How long did it take for the guy to come? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Busting Balls. I'm your host, Eric Pinnell. What's going on, everybody? Hi, I'm uh, doing video today. If uh, you guys listen to audio, you're hearing the audio version of me. But uh, I am putting fucking video on this mug of mine. And I'm uh, just getting over a cold. Thank you, fucking Ryan Andrews, for giving me a strep throat, I'm pretty sure, because we did a podcast, and then the next day he calls me and goes, I got strep throat. I go, motherfucker, you had strep throat when you did my podcast the night before? You came fucking talking on microphones and fucking getting in my space, shaking my hand with fucking possible strep throat, you cocksucker. And he did, and he doesn't think he did it. It's either that, I either got it from Ryan Andrews, that fuck face, or I went to that fucking place in Ohio called Waterworks in Kaga Falls, the uh, kitty pool where it has every fucking little kid in that area going there and fucking pissing in it. Probably some little young girls with their fucking yeast infection in there and stuff. You know, all kinds of nasty shit is what I'm fucking saying, people. And uh, and I finally feel a little bit better. You know, it, it fucking sucks. It uh, it, it's, it sucks hitting a certain age because uh, you're always getting sick. You know, you're always getting like, I'm fucking taking probiotics like a goddamn 70-year-old right now. And I know there's people out there listening where it's like, no, I've been taking probiotics since I was like 11. My mom was feeding me. Shut the fuck up. I don't, you know what I'm fucking talking about. 20 billion fucking, 20 billion fucking yeast cultures or some bullshit on the bottle that's supposed to fucking help your immune system. Because my immune system's dick. I don't know what happened to my immune system, but it's like, I I mean, there's HIV fucking patients that have better immune systems than I do. And uh, so that's where I'm at. And I'm feeling a little bit better. And then the, the day I'm starting to feel a little better, coming down the steps, just do a natural, a natural body movement, like just walking down the steps. Boom. Fucked up my back on the side here. I've been stretching. I've been stretching. God, oh, see, it hurts when I do that. Like I've been stretching. I got no mobility. You know, I, I got the flexibility of like an 82 year old fucking woman. I mean, it's awful. It's awful. I got to get my fucking stretch on. Uh, so yeah. So then I got to soar back a little bit where I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks. Soar back. Every time I bend over or do something, I got to fucking feel it. But whatever. There's enough of the fucking complaining, you know? I mean, on top of that, my fucking asshole, every time I take a shit, it burns. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't good. You know, it's not good at all. You know, I, I got the runs all the time. I, I clean up my dog's shit every day. My dog never has the shits. Never. You know why? Because she eats the same bullshit kibble every day. She eats the same shit every day. Maybe that's what we should do as humans is eat the same shit every day. Like we find the shit that works well with us and then that's what we eat. And then when everybody else offers us anything, we go, no, because I will get the shits on something like that. You know, that's it. That's what you do. Everything everything you do, like you go out drinking, you're going to get the shits, right? You're going to go eat certain Chinese food, chicken wings, something with hot sauce on it. You're going to get the shits, right? I mean, that's it. That's it. That's the cost that you pay to like uh, eat good shit and have good alcohol in you and stuff and throw it back. You know, and I know, again, I know there's some people out there listening where they go, none of that happens to me. Fuck you. Okay. I'm not even talking to you. You loser. That person that never happens to me. That never happens to me. That never happens to me. You ever meet those motherfuckers that nothing ever happens to them? Fuck you. Okay. Whoever that person is. You know, that nothing ever happens to you. Oh, you're just a genius. You just walk through life not stepping in shit. You never get sick. You never get the flu. You never come. I never had a, I never had a woman do that to me. You know, just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's the problem. That's what you got to do, man. You got to fucking, so I got to turn this. ESPN just has boring shows on now. I try to have like, like news on and shit while I'm watching, like doing a podcast just in case something pops up where it's like Simone Biles. Gets a fucking yeast infection in her asshole. So, like, that was, like, breaking news. And now it's just a, a boring Asian chick talking to some boring black guy about every topic. But they're just facing, one, like, one-on-one. -on -one. Bye, okay? You're boring as fuck. It's like watching a soap opera. It's fucking boring. And then you go to the Will Kane show, and he's just talking about a Seek Elliott holdouts, which that guy's a fucking asshole. You know, I do fantasy football and I don't even want to jump. I, fuck it. Let's jump into fantasy football for a few minutes. So uh, you guys can fast forward if you're not fantasy football fans. Give me about eight minutes, maybe, maybe 12. I don't know. Maybe four minutes. I don't know. You should fucking listen, asshole. All right. I bet you got boring shit you talk about, too. So Zeke Elliott is holding out and uh, and I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand why. I mean, he has two more years on his contract. What a cunt 
right? I mean, can you imagine like you like, like, you were the owner of that or like you have a business where you go, dude, you got two more years on your contract and you're wanting to reopen the contract? Yeah, because I'm good. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of good people out there. Get the fuck out of here. You know, I would just play. First of all, I'd trade this fucking cocksucker. I would trade Ezekiel Elliott. I know people out there listening goes, no, you wouldn't do that. He's too good of a player. I know he is, but when he's a fucking headache off the field with his little dumb shit, and I know it's only, you know, it's only little bullshit, and he really hasn't, in the big scheme of things, gotten in trouble, but that that factors into the math of painting uh, or reopening a contract. And, uh, and you know what, dude, it's going to cost you a lot of money earlier than you thought. You can't run a business like that where somebody just tries to lock up your fucking money. And, uh, I know some people think otherwise, fuck that guy, trade him, get him out of there, get a fucking two, one, the first round picks for him, get like a first round, a fourth round or a first round, a third round, whatever it is. And I know you, you might be able to not find another Zeke Elliott and, uh, to replace it. And you're just going to replace it with a shitty player in the next draft that you get to pick from, but whatever, guess what? That's just the cost of doing business. It's just like the cost of doing business with that fucking idiot, Antonio Brown. That guy fucking playing for the Raiders. John Gruden's on the on TV making pre- press conferences saying, like, we're in his corner. We're on his team. We're, we're a fan of him. I just want to get him out there and throw some passes to him. I got some plays that are made up. T- Guess what? This guy's a fucking headache. Guess what? He's fucking became a little diva, and he's 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 gone Hollywood, and yeah, he's going to produce, but guess what? Another thing is, when you're too much, has anybody out there dated a woman or, like, dated a guy? Uh, it, it, you know, I, I just know I just know the woman side of it, where you date a woman where she's way more pain in the ass than what she's worth, okay? She might have a good ass, nice set of tits on her. She's got fucking hips and those legs and that fucking smile and that fucking face and that hair and she's fucking intelligent and fucking you know in the bedroom she's like a fucking horny puma you know and then but she's such a fucking pain in the ass that she's such a pain in the ass where you go hey hey all your good shit that i just fucking named that you got some of those get the fuck out of here and let somebody else deal with you you fucking you're a pain in the ass you're a pain in the ass and that's what antonio brown has turned into a pain in the dick He's a pain in the ass. Get out of here. But they can't because they threw this guy a bunch of money. This guy's this guy's having ridiculous demands. He's wanting to wear a helmet that they dis, they discontinued in 2011. It's his old fucking Steelers helmet. He's painting it look like fucking... He had somebody do a shoddy job of painting it like fucking Raiders Gray. He gets fucking frostbite on his... Uh, was that frostbite that he got on his fucking feet? This is what I read or something? I don't know what the fuck that was. It's ridiculous. Let me take a drink of water, guys. Right there is where I should do a fucking, uh, I should put an ad in right there. Something, 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 something. But this is fucking Antonio Brown. I'm so glad, I, like, my team didn't get him. But we got Odell Beckham Jr. I'm a fucking Browns fan. We'll see. He seems to be playing it cool. He seems to be doing the, the thing that a uh, fucking great wide receiver that goes to a new team should be doing. You know, this fucking asshole, Antonio Brown, he could have went to a new team. He could have went to a new team, new storyline, a uh, new dude, you know, uh, reinventing his career and, and showing people like, look, man, I still have it. And this is why I, I'm the best in this position at this point. And he could have done that. But no, what's he do? He just jumps back over there, does the same dick shit that he's doing. It's again, it's like you got to get out of here, honey. You throw a good blow job and uh, that fucking ass does not quit. And man, you are really make me laugh. But you got to get the fuck out of here because you're a pain in the ass. And that's what Antonio Brown is. But yes, fantasy football is coming up. Everybody get on your game, all right? Let's start doing fucking mock drafts right now on ESPN, doing them on uh, NFL.com, Yahoo, whatever site you do them at, some CBS.com bullshit. And uh, start downloading the apps right now. Start looking at player rankings, average draft positions. Uh, start looking at wide receivers that you're going to eyeball that are going to do good this year with the quarterbacks that they're work with, the offensive coordinators that, that they're with, head coaches that they're with. Uh, start paying attention to maybe offensive line. High-power offenses is what I try, try to pay attention to. A high-power offense, uh, you're going to get a high-power quarterback, high-power wide receiver, uh, depending on how they run the ball, that type of dude. Obviously, you know, don't put too much time into it, but kind of do some math on who's the better uh, better uh, defenses this year, who's going to maybe score some points. That helps. Uh, but, may, you know, maybe maybe go a couple couple layers deep on, like, what tight ends you can get late in the rounds and, and kind of mess with that you're kind of excited about. There's not a ton of those, but, you know, put your eyes on those guys. I mean, everybody already knows about the Kittles and the fucking uh, Kelseys and shit like that, you know. I mean, everybody knows about those guys. So, but go a little bit deeper. 
Go a little bit deeper, like the Heardens or Herdens, whatever the fuck his name is for the Jets over there. I I, I don't know. Other people too, I'm sure. Uh, let me get a drink of water. But start getting your eyes on it. I, I'm already in a league with a couple guys, and one of them's already calling and asking me what, what picks I'm going for. It's like, you think I'm going to fucking tell you what picks I'm going for? Roger Calderon? You think Roger Calderon, you're calling me up, my old fantasy teammate, that now is not my teammate, and now you're my foe? You think Roger Calderon, a fucking Pilsen Chicago neighborhood you think you're gonna call me up and i'm gonna give you my little uh who i'm going for and who i got a boner for guess what bud we're in a battle together now you beat me last year in a fucking championship game because i went right and you went i, I should have went left you son of a bitch but i'm coming for you this year roger calderon and guess what anybody else that has fucking they're playing against their their uh they got they got friends out there that they're playing against don't be giving them your trade secrets right now okay it's coming down to the last couple weeks don't put somebody on the scent to somebody that they didn't even know about is all i'm fucking saying so please it's it's fucking uh you know what i'm saying it's it's, it's all a- espionage right now we're doing spy games and and you got to get information and keep information away but get your fantasy football game up see i didn't talk very long about that I didn't talk very long about that. You know, in fantasy, who do I like? Who do I don't like? I don't know. You know, I I, I feel like, uh, of course, I like Mahomes. Who wouldn't? You know what I'm saying? I, of course, I like Tyreek Hill. I guess I like Tyreek Hill. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I mean you got to go for him this year. <sighs> I'm over here ranting, getting over fucking cold, and my lungs aren't there. I got to slow down over here. I'm fucking breathing heavy over here, so... I seen a Colin Kaepernick uh, released a video, ready to work out video. I mean, come on, it's Kaepernick. You're not getting in, okay? The NFL wants company men. Companies want company men. I mean, that's what they really want. They want company men. They want people to be like leaders and stand up, but their type of leaders and stand up, not when it works against you. And for this guy not being on a team, of course he's good enough to play probably back up on a team and maybe uh, come in for a few games. And Who knows? Maybe there's a team out there that he could start even. I mean, I'm sure there are. I mean, look at the fucking, look at Miami uh, Dolphins. Somebody like them. Somebody like them, you know? But guess what, bud? You're not a company, man. You're not getting the invite to come, okay? They don't want it. They don't want it. It's problems. They already got the other dudes that aren't fucking standing for the anthem that they don't even want fucking doing that. You know, you had fucking Kenny Stills the other day making comments on on the on like the owner of the team Are you because he donated to Donald Trump. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine somebody you work for and you're like criticizing the fucking the fucking owner of the company in public? Oh, we'd all be fired. There, there would no be that would be unrealistic. But since they got the cameras in their face, they got to go. Oh, 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 Kenny's got, you know, he's a right to his opinion. Yeah, I guarantee you, if any of us working at uh, Solo Cup making red fucking uh, fucking beer cups for college kids and high school kids and fat fucking housewives. We'd be out of there if we made comments on the fucking solo cup owner. But this fuck face, no, not him. Not him. No, 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 no. So I don't care, Cap. I know you're trying to milk this whole thing. Colin Kaepernick's going to be like 59 years old and he's going to be like, still working out. Because that's all he has. That's all he has. Like, if you take this, like, civil rights shit away from Colin Kaepernick, what else does he have? I mean, that's his thing. I mean, I'm not saying don't take it away from him. But if you take that away from him, what does he have? He doesn't have football no more. I don't see them fucking... I don't see him even getting the commentators. I mean, where he would have to go to, like, CNN-type stuff and do serious. And then if they did sports, and then that's how he kind of, like... He backdoors it into something like that. But besides that, I don't fucking see it, man. I've been uh before I get out of here man I want to I want to talk about fucking world star hip hop dude world star hip hop fucking Jeffrey Epstein what's going on with this guy <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein is this real Is that some breaking news to get to right now ABC News confirming that financier Jeffrey Epstein has committed suicide. Epstein was behind bars in a Manhattan jail awaiting trial on sex trafficking and conspiracy charges. We're told that Epstein had pleaded not guilty to charges that he abused dozens of underage girls in New York and also... What are you talking about? This guy was fucking killed or somebody assisted killing this guy or told him to kill himself. I don't believe this story. 
This is some bullshit, man. I don't know. How the fuck? Everybody knew this guy was going to be dead. He's going to be dead. He's going to be dead. They fucking, dude, they killed Jeffrey Epstein. They, they, where's the fucking video? Somebody like him, you can't throw fucking, you think out of all the people where they go, hey, we think there's going to be a murder in a cell that we, you know, we have the guy in there. Why don't we put a couple GoPros up there on the fucking ceiling? I don't, it's, it's just, it's right in front of our fucking face, right in front of our face. I seen Joe Biden. He fucking slipped the up at the tongue, huh? We should challenge these students. We should challenge students in these schools to have advanced placement programs in these schools. We have this notion that somehow, if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Oh my God, well, Joe! Yikes! 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 Pull his cord off the stage! Yikes, bud! Out of all things, you had a senior moment, huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> You had a senior moment there, uh, Joe. You fucking, it's, you, what's, what's, uh, what's it really coming out? Dude, I seen a woman on Girl Star. This bitch is crazy as fuck. All right. Asian, so she's tweaking. Asian woman harasses and attacks a man during an argument. So this fucking lady, this is pretty long and I, I don't, I don't want to play the whole thing. But so this dude's coming, just walking down the state, walking down the street. I think he pops his phone out because this chick starts annoying him. And then she just fucking follows him for blocks and blocks and blocks, just fuck with him. And she Get fucking. Ass up. Okay. Leave me alone. Bye. Get out of my fucking face. Get out of my fucking face. I'm bitch. telling you, bye. Oh, and then she fucking go. throws a couple hands on him. Go somewhere, girl. What the fuck wrong with you? Bye. What the fuck wrong with you? And see, this dude could have fucked this chick up because she starts throwing hands. She throws hands on him right there, and he could have just like tagged her. You know what I'm saying? But he's not. He's being a fucking smart man about it. Like, hey, look, I got you on video. And I'm sure he's in control the whole time if she wanted to yes. get put down. I'm recording you right now. Now You're she pops her crazy me. phone out. You hit me. Go to the this office with me right now. Stupid bitch. Man, get, get right off now. my fucking... Get off me. Don't fuck Get off me! Bitch. This, wrong this with chick you, is crazy. I don't know if this bitch had too much soy sauce or something. She is out her fucking mind. Oh, you bitch. You touch my face. This is Yeah, because you hit me. This bitch is sniffing duck sauce or something. Something's up with this bitch. I don't know what's wrong with her, man. But, dude, she fucking does that for, like, five minutes. Just just bothering, harassing this dude all the way down the fucking... Dude, I seen this. Carmelo Anthony's uh, re, uh, request to play Team USA denied. God damn. This is how bad it is for Carmelo Anthony. <clears throat> Not only has the NBA said... Mm. We're not good. We as a country have now turned our back on Carmelo Anthony. Damn. The country has decided yeah, what the we're hell better are we off doing, man? without Carmelo Anthony. USA mm. Basketball Managing Director Jerry Colangelo told Sports Illustrated that Anthony requested mm. an opportunity to... A Nobody wants you, dude. There's better players than fucking Carmelo Anthony that could play for Team USA. Plus, he already had his chances. It, let a young guy in there, dude. I mean, come on, dude. I'm old enough to know when fucking... Uh, the Olympics basketball was only for amateurs. So like college kids and shit and stuff like that, man. This is, you know, I, I remember the first year they opened it up where they let fucking Jordan and the Dream Team play. That was amazing, dude. That fucking Dream Team, there ain't no better team than that. There is never going to be. Yeah, yeah, there's never going to be. Here's another, I, I, I don't want to play much of this too, but it was just some fucking guy that's recording his roommate's girlfriend just being a fucking twat face. Just, just totally being like, like, you know, just totally huh? being an asshole. What? What'd you say? I said, should I go drive that car? Call my phone. I don't have my phone. Get out your fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> really? You don't have it? As she's hitting on him. As she's hitting on him. <laughs> hey, I really don't have it. Edgar? Look, look, look. You see Stop. This? Dude, you don't ever hear about it. Like, just the insaneness that, like, chicks and, and how they're punching on their guys and they fucking drive us batty with their fucking nag, 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 nag. And there's guys that do it, too. Hey, don't, I look, I fucking know. There's guys out there that, like, are fucking just nagging their girl where it's like, dude, where did you learn to argue so much? You ever meet that? You ever meet dudes that argue too much where it's like, yo, you got fucking feminine ass fucking... Like behavior, dude. Like, what is what is that? That's like I see when women act like that, but when a fucking guy acts like that, they think they're doing themselves a favor. But women don't even want dude like dudes that act like girls like that, where they where they're like always arguing and fucking like bickering. And it's just like, why are you bickering with your bickering with your girl too much, dude? You fucking sound like a little fucking yeah. 
I don't know. Whatever, man. But guys, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, this is Bustin' Balls. Uh, I am your host, Eric Pinnell. I do apologize. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting over this cold and it's fucking with my breathing, man, a little bit. So I do apologize if I'm all in your ear fucking breathing. I'm going to try to clip out most of it, but I won't be able to get it all. You know, these fucking mics are picking up on it. But uh, guys, Bustin' Balls podcast on Instagram, Eric Pinnell Comedy on Instagram. I do host uh, Riddles Comedy Club open mic every Wednesdays, and I do do a monthly showcase at Riddles on Thursdays. So please, uh, if you want to come out, uh, follow Riddles uh, in my Instagram's uh, uh, Instagram page. And uh, you guys want free tickets, hit me up. If you guys want to write in, please uh, just DM me at the Eric Pinnell Comedy. If you want to write in, ask some questions. Look, I'm excellent at um, at relationship advice. You know what I'm saying? Because I do man shit, and I've done man shit. Uh, last week, I just traded my, uh, or, uh, exchanged or, uh, or fixed my uh, back brakes on my Mazda. That was a fucking pain in the cunt. They're making it harder and harder and changing different tools and shit like that to fucking do simple ass fucking tasks when you want to work on your car. And they're just trying to keep their jobs relevant, which I get. But damn it, you're costing me more money. I had to fucking buy brake pads for like $93 at a dealership because they don't sell my brake pads at a fucking regular ass O'Reilly's or AutoZone anymore. What the fuck, man? Like, that's what you guys are telling me? You can't fucking... It's a year-old car. It's a year-old car. You can't get brake pads and sell those a year old... I guess that's... Somebody out there listening is probably going, oh, because it's the dealership. They don't let you do that because you got to go through Mazda, and that's what they do. And I, I get it. I get it. But come on. Fucking do better. That's ridiculous. So I did that, and I made fucking... Again... I changed brake pads with fucking getting a strep throat. I was out there tired as fuck. I was out there tired as fuck changing brake pads with a fucking <laughs> whatever. Guys, thank you for listening. Busting Balls Podcast, Instagram. Eric Pinnell Comedy, Instagram. Numbers are going up. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. You guys have a good one.